Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. There was a conversation that got stirred up about Rolly Romero and Frank Martin and about how both of them started boxing at the age of 17. It was a very, they were very, very disrespectful to Rolly Romero. And they were saying basically you either, you either got it or you don't got it, saying that Rolly doesn't have it and Frank Martin may have it. Now, to that I say, in the most respectful way, that I kindly request all the bozos out there who are disrespecting Rolly Romero to quit taking it to the stupid. Now, I get it. Have a little fun with the conversation. Rolly talks a lot of crap. So when it comes back his way, he's got to take it, right? I agree with that 100%. You dish it out, you got to be able to take it. But who has Frank Martin fought? He had his last fight, he fought somebody who was an accomplished Olympian, right? That guy could fight. Uh, he fought Michelle Rivera. Rivera could scrap. But how would Rivera do against Rolly? Be real. How do you think Rivera does against Rolly? Okay. I think Rolly gets him. Now, um, the Olympian that Frank Martin fought, I think that Olympian may have outboxed Rolly. Just being real. Styles make fights. But that Olympian gave Frank Martin hell. Some people feel Frank Martin lost that fight. Okay? But what, what, what I'll say is this. Frank Martin and Rowley, I don't see how anybody, you know, when people say either they got it or they don't, or they're, they're bums, I'm sure, I'm sure they've never even sparred around. I, I am 100% confident of that. Because we could talk shit and we can laugh and we can have fun with the conversation, but when you want to sit here, man, and really convince yourself that Rolly Romero is a bum, Rolly Romero can't fight, Rolly Romero should be working at Walmart, greeting you at the goddamn door, nah, man, that's bullshit. Rolly Romero gets busy. He fucking lost the tank. So, so everybody who fought tank were bums, right? And he put the bing bings on Tank early in that fight. And Tank was like, hell no, I don't want nothing to, no parts of this shit. But Tank, boxing for a long time, the IQ, patience, power, time, and everything. And, you know, you saw what happened. Roller Romero against uh, Isak Pitbull Cruz. Pitbull Cruz had Tank running all around that ring. We know Tank was injured, but Tank, it wasn't no easy fight for Tank. Pitbull Cruz gets busy, man. Styles make fights, Okay. But Rowley didn't go down. He was still pushing himself. They had to protect him from himself. Ro Rowley was going to fight to the end. So to come now and just say these horrible things about him, I just, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Now, Frank Martin, well, we're going to see what we're, we're gonna see what happens here. I like Frank Martin. Frank Martin can fight. Rowley can fight too. They're just the styles and, and the attitude is what's different. But we're going to see what happens with Frank and Tank. And the same people who are out here saying horrible shit about Rowley, what you gonna say something if Tank loses to, I mean, if, uh, saying horrible stuff about Frank Martin and Rowley, uh, about, about Rowley? So what are they gonna say about Frank Martin if he loses to Tank? So now Frank Martin is a bum? Y'all gotta stop that shit. Both started at 17, either you got it or you don't. Regis Progress started fighting later than both of those guys, and Regis Progress became a two-time world champion. And so, so what, Regis Progress never had it? Because he lost to Devin Haney? Y'all got to stop this bullshit, man. Got to stop. It. Drives me crazy. Anyway, keep cool. I'm in the breeze.